your campaign and the fact that these Democrats are all over the nation, they don't want to engage in debates. What's the deal with Hassan? Well, you know, she can't defend what she's done to Americans and Granite Staters, quite frankly, and, and, and none of them can. And I don't, you know, I mean, you just saw two, you saw Bernie Sanders uh, come out yesterday and you saw, uh, uh, name escapes me right now, you probably know it, uh, Carville come out and said, hey, listen, the strategy that they're following is not going to work, right? Um, you know, uh, the abortion issues with the states, uh, Maggie Hassan has made an issue of it here. She's lied about my position on it, uh, and she continues to do so. And they just continue to focus on the wrong things because they can't stand and deliver, not not only just to Granite Staters, uh, but to people in their own party for what they've done. Because you can't tell me that don't think the rest of us. And so, uh, you know, there's... The biggest problem in America right now, biggest three problems in America right now are inflation, inflation, inflation. And it's driven by bad energy policy that she supported, open borders that she supported, and out of control spending to the tune of $5.2 trillion since March. It's unbelievable. And then when given the opportunity in August to vote to fix some of this, she voted against fixing energy problems. She voted against securing the border. She voted against Granite Staters and Americans' livelihood and the future of our children and grandchildren. And that's why I have signed up for seven debates. She has not. She can't face me. She doesn't want to stand shoulder to shoulder. She's in a bunker. She comes out every once in a while to do a photo op, and then she goes right back down into her bunker. Yesterday, she went to a manufacturing company, and she got lambasted with questions about you know, our businesses are hurting because of high electric bills and, you know, three, four times more expensive. And we can't hire anybody. We can't find anybody to work. We can't keep them. We can't bring young people in. Uh, what are you going to do about that? Uh, and she's got no answer for that because she's done nothing about it. And in fact, they've hurt that whole situation uh, through COVID and now through uh, the two years of the Biden administration, which we all know has been an unmitigated disaster.